Hello. Um, right, now recently I wrote an article which is available on my website to view about uh, retail and the article was really about how retail can survive provided the retailers take certain me measures or rather the leaders start to take certain measures and a lot of these measures are based on the simple act of empathy of really understanding their market, understanding the buyers. And, and, you know, without going into detail of the article itself, what I wanted to do is I wanted to ask you guys, how much empathy do you have with your market? And how often do you step out and research how other people do what you do? So my message to the retail giant leaders was if you don't get out there and shop and know how it feels to shop, then how do you know what your shoppers want? If you don't speak to the shoppers, if you don't speak to your own wives and spouses and partners, because I'm, I'm kind of hedging my bets here that a lot of these leaders are male, I'm sorry if it sounds sexist, but I should also imagine a lot of male leaders don't really see shopping as a pastime and something that they like to do. I do. And because I love shopping, I get lots and lots of research, I get loads of insight into what um, shoppers like and what it feels like to have a great customer experience, what it feels like to have not so great customer experience. I get to see and hear what I like and what I don't like. So here's a question. Are you a cold caller? If you make cold calls, how many do you take? And if you don't take cold calls, then why not? If you I mean, let me um, explain why this one's important. Recently, I was working with a group of sales managers who, whose job it is to make cold calls. So there I am asking them, so, so um, when you receive a phone call, how does it feel? And they are, a lot of them were saying, well, we don't really take cold calls. Wow. So I'm thinking, if you don't take phone calls, much like the retail giant leader who doesn't go shopping, how would you know what to say and what not to say? In the end of the day, being able to connect over the phone, face to face, or whichever way you want to sell, is about having that empathy and understanding of what it's like to be in the other person's shoes. So my message today is, hey, get out there and shop if you don't. And, but if you do sell, get some shopping experience because it's great to understand what it's like to be at the other end of that. Get, get on the phone and listen to cold callers because just by listening to cold callers, you'll learn a lot. Now, I've got a book coming out called Wise Me Up to Cold Calling. That's going to come out at the end of November. It is actually available now to pre-order through uh, bookstores such as Waterstones. Um, you can also get it online on the um, the online giant Amazon. But um, the message that I wanted to put across really is take the calls, listen to how they come across and then learn for yourself what comes across well and what doesn't come across well. And think why things that didn't come across well didn't and those that did, why they did. Why you buy off some people and why you don't. Why you go into certain shops and why you don't. Why you choose certain brands and why you don't. All these things are about selling. All these things are about engaging with the customer. And all of these things will make you wiser as a salesperson. So have a go. See how it goes. And I will speak to you soon. Now if you haven't already subscribed and you want to continue to receive tips like this, then hey, subscribe. You get to know when I'm going to put a video out and you never know, it might be worth some, well, might be worth some of your time. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.